the built environment is responsible for most of our resource use in terms of our energy use, in terms of our water and also our materials and the wastes that goes back into the system. It is the largest footprint that we have that changes the, the land use, it changes the way that the planet functions. So it becomes really important for us to think about it and how we do this sensitively. We're standing at a tipping point in the world and we can decide to go down a road of despair and just give up and say, well, eat, drink and be merry because tomorrow we will all die. So the book was our attempt to write a story of hope, which is why we're calling it Designing of Hope. Now the possibility to break open the systems that have kept us in this very negative and degenerative system. And if we make use of this opportunity, we can start a regenerative system and see how do we heal the planet, how do we heal our communities, and how do we create a, a future that can be thriving and where people can flourish. What they are writing about in this book is the idea that if projects are handled with the right amount of care, they can not only be appropriate, but they can help heal. It's not about the building. The building only becomes the entry point. How do we use this entry point to start healing the entire system? What, to, to reveal what is the potential in the system and, and to, to make sure that after we leave, after we've built our building and we've put this building in place, that there is potential for the, the social systems, the economic system, the natural system around this building to continue evolving and grow its own potential. Um, how do we make buildings part of nature and how do we start working with nature in terms of how we treat things like our sewage, for instance, or to, to treat our water and make our water clean or help our buildings cool down. When we think about sustainability, it's, it's for everybody and it's everybody's responsibility to think about how do we engage with the world, that we don't pollute our water, that we don't pollute our air, that we think about the resources that we use. But it's not just our natural environment, it's also the connections to other people around us. How do we heal our social systems? And underlying all of that is the idea that we are in relationship. So treat other people as you would like to be treated. Treat nature as you would like to be treated, because we are not separate. How do we, through this process, make other people aware of the need to connect to, to place, the need to connect to nature, the need to connect to local communities, so that we can community by community, place by place, start healing the system. And if architects don't do it, who's going to do that? <laughs>